Hey guys, Doug, Michigan E-Piper here. Um, yeah, I'm in a barn again. I know it's a different view, but uh, to be honest, I was kind of struggling with this one, so I figured I'd change up things, you know, to I don't know, help me help me get my point across better. Uh, a little housekeeping: we got Dr. Savoy, or sorry, Dr. Grabo Savoy, with some Cornell and Deal uh, Bayou in it. Uh, really good stuff. Um, enjoying it. I struggled a little bit with the whole how to pack it and and uh, how much to let it dry, but we're getting there. See my lighter's going on on top of it, but guys, this one's about. This is a next, by the way, next in the series of uh, analogies of faith, about putting people on pedestals. And uh, whether you're talking about politically speaking, or you know, somebody in your church or, or close circle of friends. Um, putting somebody on the pedestal is dangerous. Think about it. And by the way, when I have these conversations um, with you guys, I'm talking to myself as much as I am anybody else. Sometimes I think I come across maybe a little bit judgmental. Not my intent at all. Um, uh, I I am absolutely speaking to myself, but you know, some a lot of times people put people up on pedestals, and uh, we expect more out of them. And we've all seen the movies where somebody's done that, or read the books, or been part of a conversation or part of a situation like that. But, you know, I kind of equate it to when you see somebody that's, that has, uh, is on a street performer and they got the crates, you know, and they're standing up on the crates, they get, you know, six, seven, eight high, and somebody's tossing them more crates and they're, and they're uh, getting higher and higher. And if you pay close attention, the higher they get, the more wobbly they get. And uh, the more they have to concentrate on that pedestal that they're on versus what, you know, entertaining the crowd. And the, the same is true um, when it comes to life, right? The more you put yourself up on a pedestal or put somebody else up on a pedestal, the more that person has to concentrate on who people think they should be versus on just being themselves. So, you know, I, I guess my point here is that there's only one person we can put on a pedestal and... Uh, you know, not that we, we put him there. It's just who he is, and that, that's Christ himself, right? Jesus Christ himself. And, uh, you know, if, if we concentrate on that, on putting him on a pedestal, on not even, I guess pedestal is a bad word for it because it just makes it sound so <laughs> so tiny for him. But, you know, if, if we put our trust, I'll put it that way, if we put our trust in Christ and... You know, not as much in people, you know, and we deal with people in love like we've, we've been taught, right, through the scriptures. Then we're not going to be devastated when somebody fails us. We're not going to be, you know, is it going to hurt? Yeah, you know, but we didn't we didn't put them in an un, you know, right, um, a bad situation, right, where they've got something to prove to us or we've got something to prove to ourselves even worse. Um, we've got to anchor ourselves uh in Jesus, in Jesus Christ, and uh, I did have one scripture here, and kind of, kind of puts it, not kind of, it does put it into words better than I can, obviously. Um, but it's from Jeremiah twenty-seven, Jeremiah twenty-seven seven through eight, it says, "But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. He will be like the tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when the heat comes. It, its leaves are always green." It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. And, uh, you know, we rely on somebody else and put them on a pedestal. All we're doing is setting them setting up for a fall. 
But Jesus is like, bring it on. Give me something I can't handle. See what happens. Um, because there's nothing he can't handle. There's nothing that he can't handle. Uh, so the next time you find yourself, you know, really thinking highly of somebody or uh, being devastated because somebody wasn't the person that you thought that they were, ask, you know, ask yourself, where am I putting my, my faith? You know, in, in that person, in myself, Where's my faith in Christ, and I'm just living, I'm just lifting everybody else up in love around me. So, just my thoughts, guys. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, loving the videos that are coming out recently, and and uh, look forward to talking to you guys again. So please comment. You know, not guys. If you want to subscribe, um, great. Uh, but I'm kind of I, I love the fact that that uh, Ozzy E. Piper put out here the other day is like you know subscriptions are not necessarily what everybody makes them out to be speaking of being put on a pedestal um i love to do this i would do it if i had two subscribers uh and uh, i love to watch other guys you know and I, I subscribe to a lot of people just not not everyone i watch you know um if, if i'm subscribing to you it's because i'm watching you maybe not every single video but i just i love what we got going here in the ytpc so um so yeah, I, I would say, I want you to comment because I love that back and forth. Um, but uh, if you want to subscribe, that's up to you. I appreciate it. But uh, you know, it is what it is. So uh, with that, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys have a great week. Until next time, you take care.